Hi, today we're going to groom a golden doodle at home. And um, he's, this is Cedar. He's about four weeks um, past his last groom. And his last groom, he was done at a one half inch on his body and an inch on his legs. But before we actually get started, the most important thing you wanna remember is to always groom a clean and a blow dried uh, doodle. You want them to be clean, combed out, and dry. And before I bathe him though, you wanna make sure that you can get, oops, there's some hair. You wanna make sure that you can get the fine part of your comb through his coat. And he's not super long, so it goes pretty, it goes easily especially on the legs, in the armpits, in the ears, behind the ears, no tangles, no mats. The more mats you have, the worse, oh see there's a little baby one right there, the worse they'll be in the bathtub. Just take them out with your comb, cut them out if you have to, make sure that they are fully um, dematted, combed, and brushed and ready to go. I can finish brush him with a finishing brush just to make sure he's ready. Um, I'm not gonna show you how I bathe him now, but we'll be back in a second. So he is now bathed and blow dried. Everything we used in order to do that is linked down below our dryer um, and this the whitening shampoo that we used to make sure he's nice and white. Um, I also took a metal comb and I just made sure he had no knots that came out of that. Um, to groom his body, we're using an Andis um, Two Speed Ultra Edge, and the uh, wake up, buddy. Um, the Oster clippers, or I mean, um, attachment combs. And for his body, we use um, a half inch uh, comb guard for his body. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do this half first, um, and then I'll speed it up. So I'm gonna ask him to stand. Can you stand? And you wanna go with the grain of the hair. If you go against the grain, the backwards way, this way, it will give a shorter cut. The harder you push down, the more hair you'll take off. I go in a straight line down his spine. He's pretty lean, so I'm catching his uh, backbone. So I just want to go slow on his backbone so I don't hurt him. And down here on his ribs, I'm just going to go down. Because his hair grows down. You're fine. I do, I go against the hair down here on his tummy because I like his tummy shorter um, so he doesn't pee on it. Stay with me. Can move you closer a little bit? And lay you up. This is the first time um, we use these. We've used these clippers. Um, so far, they're doing a pretty good job. Same on his shoulder. I'm gonna go down, but I'm gonna angle my clippers like I'm scooping, so that I don't cut his legs shorter. Oh, 
got a little bit there. Alright, while the camera is here, I'm gonna go ahead and do um, his neck. Let's see if I can angle this up a little bit. Now, his neck is really um, flappy, so can you sit? You just wanna make sure that you flatten out the flaps so that you don't get them. But I just go down. His coat, his neck hair grows so fast. And right here, where his chin meets his throat, is where I put the clippers. See, I hope you can see that. And I'm just gonna go down. Make sure to flatten it out so you don't get his, the flaps. Same on his shoulder, his chest bone. I just go down. Getting all the hair. Do it again. I hold up his ear. I hope you can see. There you go. Pull up his ear. And go down. His neck hair grows so fast. And it is so dense and so curly. A lot of his mats are in his neck and his armpits. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so you just want to make sure you get all of that. So I'm just gonna go back. I'm just going back over now what I've already gone over. I've already done to make sure I don't have any that's left over. I'm getting the other side of his neck that I had missed. Right here where his um, shoulder blades come out, the hair can get kind of long there because the clippers don't really want to go on them. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Go down his shoulder, and I'll show you on this side. Back over it one last time. I'll get the top of his neck as well. Now these are the metal uh, attachment combs, and this is the first time I've ever used a metal comb. Uh, they see you're doing a great job going through his coat. We've only ever used plastic. Um, and they do catch, especially on the legs, so that'll be a good um, test with them. So if he puts his head down, doodles have, and poodles have a really hard bone right here. And that's where I stop with my clippers, is right there at that bone. And I just go down. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and clip the other side. Um, so for under armpits, we had some questions on um, what we did. And I used the same um, half inch guard that I had been using for his body. I haven't done his legs yet. Um, but I pick up one side like this and I take my comb and I just get in the armpit. He doesn't love his armpit. I need to stand up. up. Stop, see 
it doesn't necessarily match with his legs. Um, and then on this side, it's already in my hand. I'm just gonna go into the armpit and clean it out as well as what's on his body. That will keep out any mats in his armpit. All right, his body is done and now we're gonna work on his legs. I'm gonna show you these, uh, this front and back leg and then I'm gonna speed it up for the rest. Um, his legs I spend the most time on because I, you know, want them to be beautiful. Um, for his legs though, I normally just use a one inch. I think today I'm gonna try the one and a quarter and just see what kind of length that gives me, um, especially on the front. I normally like his legs to be longer than his body, um, kind of giving the, the bell bottom look, but we're just gonna see what this gives us here. And I like this length. Um, it's looking a lot better than what I was expecting. The, the one inch on his legs is just kind of, um, still just a little short uh, for my taste. The one and a quarter just adds just a little bit extra length. Um, I like his legs kind of short uh, because in, down here in Atlanta, we have a lot of the, the sticky burrs um, and they definitely get stuck in his coat so fast. Thank you. He just broke my face. Um, I don't cut his tail with the clippers. So I'll pull that out of the way. And I'll show you how I do sanitary in a minute. But right now we're just gonna easily go over his legs. I'll show you how to do his feet too. The inside is where the most mass are, at least where I miss the spot. Um, I'll be coming back anyway, the scissors to even it up. Definitely want to get up here in the tuck just to make sure everything's even. I like to show the leg instead of covering it up with a long coat. And I do the same up here for his front leg. Sorry. Hey, hey. I just hold his leg out. Down. See, can you see? Stop. And I just go down his leg. I hold it out for his foot. Just go around his foot like that. And I'm going to trim it up um, with scissors. Stop. Um, his front legs have always been an issue. Um, mainly because I like to keep them longer. Stop. Um, so he has to have them groomed a lot. Um, he doesn't love his front legs being with them. But we work through it. Hey. Stop. Shut up. Stop. And in a minute, we're gonna give him a break um, so that I can at least have a break a little bit. So he doesn't, you know, stop, hate me too much. But I'm gonna go down the whole leg. Stop. Front, put the leg down, get in the back. Remember, there's a little pad right here. You don't wanna get that, so. Find it with your hand, put your hand there. And like I said, we're gonna go back to the scissors here in a minute. Ah, up, up. So that's how I do Elise's legs. So now I'm gonna speed it up and do the rest. So for his bottom, you can't see his bottom. I think you just tweeted it. <laughs> I don't shave fully. I take my 30 blade. I just go up a little bit, stay at the base of the tail. Just to keep the hair from getting in poop. I take just a little bit under his butt. And if there's any hair coming out of his butt, I'm just going to take that off. And that's it. So for his feet, I'm going to use curved shears and straight shears. So what I'm going to do, I also have my comb. I'm just going to hold his foot up.
comb it out so that it's as flat as it can go. And let's see if I can get a little closer. If he's a little tired, um, so he's not standing this flat, stop. And with my straight shears, I just go around his foot. You want to make sure he's flat on the ground. Like this. And there's some hair here with the clippers, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off now. Okay, his feet were already pretty nice and rounded. I am gonna pick them up, just make sure that um, I get all of the hair in the back nice and flat. This is the part here that he pees on. So I wanna make sure that's nice and flat. And I'm also gonna do his back leg. Same concept, whoops, brush it out. Make sure there's tangle free. You can use the curve shears if you'd like. Did you, burped again. Angle them with the dog's foot all the way around. Come up the foot. His hair is strange because at the end, sometimes it gets straight, um, which can make getting a rounded edge on his feet. That looks pretty rounded. Oh, let me get my straight shears. I'm gonna come back in here with my razor and clean out um, his paws, but we'll do that in a minute. So let me do the rest of his feet. All right, so we're gonna trim his face and my tools I'm gonna use are my straight shears and my curved shears. I have um, my metal comb here to just make sure that he's tangle free and a finishing brush here just to kind of fluff him out so that I know um, where to trim. And so I'm gonna start here with my curved shears. And I always start, just make sure your dog um, just lets you hold their nose so they don't move around. Um, this will go faster and it's safer for your dog. I start point away from the eyes and I just go down, getting some hair out of his eyes like that. And I, work in a rainbow. So I have a rainbow going over here. I have a rainbow over each eye. And then the rainbow turns and goes into his afro like that. So I'm gonna just trim his eyebrows. His hair kind of curls right in the corner with his eye like that. Okay, now we'll do this side. And this side point goes up, always away from the eye. And it kind of goes over the nose like that. If you want to use trimmers on the nose, go for it. I never use a trimmer anywhere on his face. Um, and again, a rainbow going over his eye. I don't go very fast. I go nice and slow, so that I try not to make a mistake. And now you can see his pretty eyes. Um, I did forget. Let me grab the clippers real quick. Um, I shave under his ears, so I'll show you that now. And maybe bring it over here. So. I pull his ear back like this. If you can see, he's really high up there. Maybe I'll do this side. I pull his ear back. I have a 30 blade on right now. And I just take the hair 
from under his ear. Like that. You don't see it in photos. He doesn't miss it. Um, and they stay a lot cooler that way. I also take off just a little bit of hair on the inside of the ear. Like I said, he doesn't need it. He won't, his ears won't miss it. Um, it makes his ears cooler, lighter, much better. And you can even cut some of the hair on the inside. I just cleaned his ears, so that's why they look dark like that. And I'll do the other side. Put your head down, stinker. You probably can't see it, but stop. Trim out his ear, under his ear. Stop. A little bit on the inside. I don't take off all the hair on the inside of his ear. Um, but I just thin it out a little bit with the 30. Again, he doesn't need it. Um, it doesn't do anything. Stop going backwards. I can't reach. Yeah. Those are his ears. Okay. Whew. As I was, as I was going. So now the sides of his face. Um, I don't like the circle uh, doodle head. I prefer, um, he does not want to look at me anymore. He doesn't love getting his face done. Um, I like his mustache to be circular and here on the sides of his face, I go pretty short. Um, so if I take it in, I'm going to take a good chunk off like that. Um, like I said, his ears are down here, um, and they, he doesn't miss it. Um, okay, stop going back. Sit. Killing me. Um, it just softens his face a little and uh, just takes off some of the heaviness from his coat. I'll show you how I trim his ears in a minute. I'm also going to trim under his chin. Um, let's see. This hair is always pretty thick. Where are my straight shears? My straight shears hold his chin. And just make sure you don't get the skin. I speak from experience. I've gotten his skin and had to go to the vet. But don't worry, you can't even tell anymore. <laughs> um, it's trial and error. You know, this probably isn't the correct way. But I just trim, I'll just trim a little bit. The curlier coats are gonna be more forgiving. Um, in a couple days, his coat is gonna curl out and you won't even be able to tell really that I gave him a haircut. So for his, um, his um, beard is a little fluffy right now. So I'm gonna take my curved shears and again, like a rainbow. So I'm just taking ever so slightly, just a little bit off, not much. This is just a little. Like I said, like a rainbow. And this just keeps, I'm gonna cut just a little bit where the, Oh my goodness, you silly boy. Just stuck my finger up your nose. And if you can't do this all in one sitting, it may be good just to do, you know, his body one day, his legs the next. Just work him up to it. Let's see, how's that look? Oh, that looks even. Take 
just a little more off this side. Um, for his ears, I rarely trim his ears. I like his ears a little longer. Um, but you hold him out like a fan. Let's see. He'll do it. And then I just follow the curve of his ear. This works best if the ear is fully dry. Um, his ear is just a little damp because his ear's curls are pretty thick. Um, so my scissors have trouble with the damp. Damn. I just took off ever so slightly amount. And I just curve it here. This way. It's about all I do for his ears. I'm gonna do the other side. Again, hold it out like a fan. It's hard. Oh, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for that burp. I appreciate that. You nasty. Okay. I had already started this ear earlier, so I already knew the curve of it. Make sure the ears are even, just like people here. See your ear not even. There you go. Are you awake? Um. So for his afro, if I were to trim that today, I would have my curved shears, and I would go straight back like this, and I would work my way around his head um i trimmed his afro about i don't know four weeks ago and i like to keep it pretty fluffed um so i'm not going to take i'm not going to take anything off of his afro right now um because i think he's cute with it but um yeah that's his finished look <laughs> he looks kind of sweet yeah that's his finished look. I forgot his tail. Um, again, like his ears and like his head, I don't trim his tail often. Um, I like the longer tail. Let's see if he'll stand up. Up, up, and go around. And you do it just like you did the ears. You hold it up like a fan. Um, and with your curved shears, you're just gonna go down the curve of his tail. Um, I'm not going to trim his tail, maybe just some of these whiskeys here, um, because I like okay, his We're going to trim his paw pads, and while he's down on the ground, um, like this, I'm also going to make sure I trimmed his sanitary area correctly, um, but I have a 30 blade on my clipper, and while I was doing this face, I gave it time to cool. So you'll have your paw pad, and you just want to hold the top of the fur like this. Um, and you just want to kind of scoop all of the hair out from in between his paw pads. Um, sometimes it's ticklish, but it shouldn't hurt. Um, you just want to do it lightly. You don't want to do it so hard that it's hurting your dog. Um, ah, 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 stop. See her? He fights for a second and gives up. Um, this um, keeps mats from getting in between their paw pads. Um, and when they're out in the morning and there's dew on the grass um, and they bring it into your house or if there's mud outside, they'll bring it into your house. This helps, you know, keep it clean. And I know not all dogs will lay down on the ground um, like Cedar is lying right now. Um, but again, we've been working on this for, you know, two years now, and he's pretty, he's pretty chill. Um, so this is the end product here. I've gone all the way around. I trimmed this with my scissors, so it wasn't long. And this was the before. So you see the difference after, before. And there you go. And then we're going to do his nails and his sanitary area in a minute. So he's most comfortable when he's lying down. 
So I've already trimmed his sanitary area with the 30 uh, when he was standing up, but I just wanna go back over and make sure um, that I've gotten everything. He does, um, he lifts his leg when he pees, so sometimes there's some um, pee stains other places that you don't want. So you do wanna make sure that he is um, fully trimmed and you just wanna oh, grab his tail out of the way. Um, gosh, your tail's fluffy, by the way. So I'm gonna, with my 30, I'm just gonna go in here and make sure I get all of this hair here. Um, I don't know if your dog is the same, but where he was neutered, um, he gets really bad mats um, where his parts were. So I really have to make sure that stays shaved. Um, and I just go slow on the slow speed, making sure not to cut him. Um, so you don't want that. But yeah, just trimming the hairs. Oh, don't get the tail. But yeah. There you go. All right, we're now going to groom, not groom, we are going to Dremel his nails. I have a wall um, toenail Dremel. Uh, this is probably six years old. It's on Amazon. It's linked below if you need it. Again, I've been working with him using this Dremel um, since we brought him home at eight weeks. Um, now I did trim his nails a week ago, so there's not uh, much that I want to take off. Um, but I'll just show you how I work with him. When he was smaller, obviously he was in my lap. I did it in short spurts. Um, now I turn it on. I have his foot. His feet are rather fluffy, um, but you find the nail. And you just ever so slightly trim all the ends off. Oh, one more bit. Hey, stop. And you do want to remember that they have dew claws right here. Uh, or at least he does. They weren't removed. Um, so you do want to make sure you drum all that because when, if they were to jump on you and grab you with that dew claw, it will, um, ugh, sorry bud, it will hurt. You ready? Okay. I do just keep it low to the ground, um, and I just do, it doesn't, it's not hurting him. I'm just taking the ends of his nail off. And like I said, if you do this regularly, um, you won't have to take a lot off and it'll be a lot faster of a trim. And that's it. I already had done his back legs, so they're not going to be trimmed. And that's it. Give me a, yeah, baby.